Hi, my name is John Cordy and I wanted to say thank you to everybody who chose to subscribe to this channel and even the ones who I've coerced into subscribing with aggressive kind of um, marketing strategies that I've employed and some of the, the kind of... anyway. I'd like to give a shout out to Jim Cookson. He's recently been on a bit of a, a sushi kind of thing and uh, he told me that there was sushi in Morrison's, it turned out there wasn't. He said there's Yo Sushi in Sainsbury's, John. It's a really exciting range that they've got. And uh, I went to Sainsbury's and they had three products and two of them were out of stock. But thanks for the shout, Jim, that's really useful. Um, Lenny really enjoyed the sushi that she did get from there eventually. I just wanted to make a quick video kind of asking, is gear snobbery dead? Because I think there was certainly a time when I, for instance, thought things like a Gibson Les Paul, if you wanted a Les Paul, you'd have to buy a Gibson, or if you wanted, you know, like the Ultimate Strat, you'd have to buy a Fender, or these kind of things, you know, if you wanted the Ultimate Tone in the modelling world, you might have to buy a certain thing. But these days I'm getting more and more surprised by the expectation that even cheap stuff is going to be good. So, for instance, in this video I'm using a Nux MG30, which they sent me uh, way back along, but I just wanted to plug it in today and give a play through it. So that was just a little preset that I put together with the Mezaboogie 2C Plus model. But like oh, the Sire guitars are not particularly expensive and are, are quite good. And I'm just thinking, is there any area where people still maintain that kind of gear snobbery and it kind of makes sense to? I say that as I hold a guitar that Seth Back has made, which is, you know, a handmade instrument and all that stuff which he's let me borrow for a bit to do some videos with. But yeah, it's just it's a little thought that I had. You know, there's like good guitars and great guitars being made across the entire range. You know, cheap effects pedals can still sound really, really, really good. You know, you can get clones of Timmy's, you can get clones of whatever you want for not much money. You can get stuff in the modeling world, you know, the MG30, the Hotone Ampero, however you say it. These kind of cheap, Modeling solutions, you know, even an HX Stomp is 400 quid, which to me doesn't seem like much money for what you actually get for that money. Yeah, you can get good stuff for not too much money. I, th I do kind of feel like the amp world is one of the, the bits where you still can, I think, afford to be a bit of a gear snob, just because I think some of the, the features that you get at the cheapest end of the market are not necessarily comparable. And it's not to say that expensive gear isn't cool as well, but I don't know, there's people like Chris Buck out there using Squire guitars. There's a, a friend of mine, Johan Lauer, who can make a Squire guitar or a Harley Benton guitar sound amazing, but he is French. Um, I was just thinking, is it more now about just kind of trying to get good results out of what you've got, whatever the price is? And I think even, you know, Keith at 5 Watt World, also a friend, uh, hopefully, Hope he's well, or well enough. You know, he got a Gibson R8 or R9 recently, which is a custom shop instrument, and he wasn't, you know, necessarily uber pleased with that uh, as it came out of the box. And, you know, the first thing that he was kind of saying that his friends and stuff were saying to him was about changing out pickups and stuff like that. And there's this kind of expectation that even on an expensive instrument like that, it's not going to be perfect right out of the box. So. Yeah, gear snobbery. Is there any stuff which you're still snobby about or that you wouldn't skimp on or that kind of stuff? Let me know in the comments. Here's some more guitar playing. Thank you for subscribing and stuff if you have. Hopefully you enjoy some of the guitar playing that I put on this channel. I had a haircut. Cheers.